So there's a number of things that can make a pregnant person high risk. So obesity, um, being over 35, if you have high blood pressure, if you're coming into the pregnancy with um, other medical problems, diabetes or substance abuse issues. For your obstetrician, what that means is we need to assess you a little closer and maybe a little bit more frequently. It does not mean that there is no potential for a healthy outcome and delivery with this pregnancy. This is my third baby, and I am considered high risk because I'm an older mom. But one of the things my midwife explained to me is that high risk depends on a lot of different factors, and age is one of them. Other factors that can make you high risk have to do with your overall health. And because I have been eating well and I've been able to exercise through my pregnancy, I haven't had any of the additional high risk factors. Sometimes when you're over the age of 35, you have a higher risk of developing other medical conditions during pregnancy, like diabetes of pregnancy or hypertension of pregnancy or preeclampsia. I was concerned about being high risk when I decided to get pregnant because of my age. I am 40, but my doctor did let me know that there were different things that I could do to make sure that I had a healthy pregnancy. We follow everybody very closely in pregnancy. We will let you know if there are things that are concerning, if you need extra tests during your pregnancy. Especially later in pregnancy, there's something called a non-stress test where we specifically listen a little bit longer to the baby's heartbeat and measure the fluid around the baby once or twice a week, depending upon the medical problem, just to make sure everything's going well. We try to work with those moms so that they have the healthiest pregnancy possible, looking at what um, they can do to improve their outcomes and have the healthiest pregnancy possible.